When somebody sees one of your ads on Facebook, a couple different things might happen. One, they might ignore the ad, it's probably not for them. Two, they might click the ad, go to your website and purchase. Three, they might click the ad, go to your website and not purchase. And four, they might do the last one and then start Googling for more information. How do you take advantage of being there when they're looking for something tied to your business? If you don't know what people are looking for, you can't answer the questions. True, you can put some of these objections on your landing page, but sometimes people just need a little bit more convincing or more information to make the purchase. So the low hanging fruit here is to create blog content on your site that's bottom of funnel and answers the questions that people have around your brand. So how do we do this? It's actually really easy. And in this example, I'm gonna use Ridge Wallet, my trusty favorite threat to consumer wallet brand as an example for what people are searching for so that you can specifically create the content that they need to have the information to make a purchase. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can go about getting this information using three different tools. Let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna head to answerthepublic.com and we're gonna enter the brand name we wanna search for. For this one, we're searching Ridge Wallet. All right, so we've got the Ridge Wallet results up here. Uh, you can see that there's 301,000 search volume a month, difficulty is 79, the CPC is $1.96. We don't really care about that stuff for what I'm looking at right now. So this page is broken down into a few different sections. The first section here is questions. And as you can see up here in the top left corner, the key indicators, the dark orange is highly searched, the medium color orange is average searched, and the lightest one is lowest searched. So you're gonna wanna start with the highly searched for terms first. Right now, looking at this, they're all kind of average in the middle, but the wheel breaks down where, can, how, who, will, where, why, are, what, and which. These are all questions asked about this brand. So when do Ridge Wallets go on sale? What is a Ridge Wallet? Should I get a Ridge Wallet? Which Ridge Wallet is best? Is Ridge Wallet actually good? The answer is yes. Is the Ridge Wallet worth it? Can the Ridge Wallet hold cash? Can Ridge Wallet hold coins? Can the Ridge Wallet get wet? And so on and so forth. So this just goes around here and gives you all of this data. So you can go and create content on your website, on your blog, around each of these things. And since your site should have the most authority for your brand keyword, it should be very easy to rank for all of these. The next section on here is prepositions. So Ridge Wallet without money clip, Ridge Wallet without cash strap. Alternative to Ridge Wallet is like without. So there's without, with, is, to, can, near, and for. And if these aren't redundant, you can simply go and create content for these as well. And comparisons, these are actually really good because when people are shopping for different products, oftentimes they compare between products. So understanding your competitive advantage in these particular pieces of content is extremely important. But this is an opportunity to go after people who are specifically looking at whether to buy yours or your competitors. So put a lot of effort in to these pieces of content. And then at the end of the page, it's just alphabetical. So. You know, if you're planning on going through every single one of these, you could just start at A and go all the way through. But I would probably recommend going through the most concentrated questions here first in the, the general questions, and then consider going through the comparison piece as well and make sure that you have a compelling argument for each one. Just be very cautious not to make claims that can get you in trouble. So I would mostly do the talking about your product and why it's superior as a whole. Second option is Ahrefs. This is a paid tool and it's fantastic for search engine optimization as a whole and understanding what people are searching for, the keyword difficulty and so on and so forth. I'm not gonna dig into exactly how it works right now, but if you get a subscription, log in Ahrefs, go to the keyword explorer and type in the brand. Again, we're gonna type in Ridge Wallet for this example. You're gonna see there's a bunch of different options here. We're gonna click on questions. Right now I've got it listed as uh, based on volume. So we know that how to use a Ridge Wallet is the most searched question from the, these 212 total keywords that generate 4.7 thousand searches a month. So people are, that's 4.7 thousand people a month that are looking to make a purchase. There's a lot of low hanging fruit here for this particular brand if they don't have this content already. So you can just go through these, make the content, make sure it's very valuable and covers all the basics for the person considering making the purchase. And then the final way, the most free way, although enter the public is free for a couple of credits, is you can go to Google 
Ridge Wallet. It's going to be a little less abundant. You can see what people ask here as well. Again, there's not as many questions. Is Ridge Wallet actually useful? What is so special about the Ridge Wallet? What is better, Ridge or Exter? How much cash can a Ridge Wallet hold? That, that section isn't always there, but you also get these other search options at the bottom here. And if you wanna like take it one step further, you can go look at answer the people and get when, can, how. So you can search does Ridge Wallet. You can put these different words in front of the brand and Google's gonna give you some different ones to try. Now, the downside to Google here is that you're not going to get the volumes, you're not gonna get any indicators on which ones are the most searched. So I'd probably start with answer the people, evaluate how many questions there are, and then I would probably pop over to Ahrefs, do a bit more research into how much volume there are for each of these keywords. It's also very possible that Ahrefs won't have the volume for every single one of these, especially if you're smaller. And then finally, to head over to Google and do a good old fashioned organic search and see what else Google recommends. So what do you do now that you have all of these amazing questions that people are asking? Easy, you spend some time and you write articles for each of these topics. If you don't have an author to write for you, there's tons of places that you can find authors that can write about your brand. You can go on Fiverr.com, WeWork, or you can go to one of the hundreds of writer forums on Facebook and find somebody that's a perfect fit. These articles don't need to be rocket science. If you need some examples, pick your favorite brand, run it through this experiment, and evaluate what they've done because a lot of these people have already done the heavy lifting. You'll get the frameworks you need to answer the questions that are gonna convert consumers or potential consumers into customers. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Slap that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next video.